Right, video number two of our series going from um, Heathrow to Manchester. Uh, a previous video, which will be linked as uh, video zero one, uh, this will be zero two, uh, we may get into zero three, depending on the amount of time. Uh, so we're here at the threshold of 27 right. Earlier I had talked about it not uh, taking me to 27, it was taking me to 09 left. Um, I, I misunderstood that and I, I saw the uh, the image taking me somewhere where I shouldn't be going or thought it was taking me where somewhere where I shouldn't be going, but indeed it is taking me here and if we look there's the uh, runway 27 right, which is the runway that I intended to get to. So those blue uh, lines on the on the taxiways were, were leading me correctly. I just didn't see it. I saw that little uh, bill of pin out there and I thought that's where it was taking me to. So just a little bit of house cleaning with that. This is Stream Gamers uh, in in uh, conjunction with Flyby Wires. Um, that's flybywires.net. Uh, uh, my name is Raymond. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to be taking off using world we're real world weather, um, and uh, uh, um, uh, AI traffic. You can hear in the background an aircraft coming in, what sounds like an aircraft coming in. Uh, where that is, I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of trying to look for it because I wondered what that noise was. But anyways. I use uh, real world weather, real flight, so we see AI traffic, uh, other people flying around the world, including other commercial flights in the world. We are flying an A320neo um, out of the box without any modifications and so forth, reportedly to fix bugs and issues. And as you see so far at this point, everything is sort of functioned the way it's supposed to. Um, I have a autopilot panel, as I've said in my previous video, so you won't see me fiddling with the dials too terribly much because I do that on my autopilot panel. Um, I'll get my webcam one day and show it for those that hasn't, haven't seen it, but um, it's a Logitech um, autopilot panel. I use a Logitech Flight Yoke throttle quadrant and um, mad something or other rudder pedals. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> I should probably put that together so that everybody understands what I use. Here we are. I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, bits about the aircraft, which I've done in a previous slide, so I'll do it again. Uh, these big dots that you see here, um, they are indicating, I should turn on my, um, my uh, one moment here, just uh, bear with me, um, my big dot, so uh, people can see where I'm pointing and what I'm communicating about. There we go. There we go. So these uh, dots here, uh, the bigger dots, those are indicated managed modes. Um, we'll be using managed mode because we're using the FMS as we've pre-configured it. My altitude is supposed to be 10,000, so I'll dial that up. That is my initial uh, climb out altitude. I will be climbing for 21,000. I won't be paying attention to ATC. I'll probably do a video down the road at some point, including ATC and amongst this, so we listen to and adhere to ATC's uh, requests and so forth. Although I will say that ATC is a little bit bugged or maybe I don't fully understand it, but sometimes it tells you to climb and descend and climb and descend and climb and descend. Maybe there's a reason for it, which I don't understand, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we're going to talk about the throttle quadrant. So our throttle quadrant um, has these uh, these indicators. Toga is just flat out full throttle. Flex, I haven't used it a lot, but I'm told that it will allow you to descend using the auto throttle and land on the runway. I haven't used it. I have been using CL. I'm referring to that as climb, but it may not necessarily mean what it actually means. I will push the throttles forward once I'm on the runway, get ready to take off. Toe brakes on, throttles forward, and I'll see I'll, it'll click into that spot, and I'll show that. At which point I'll look up, let go of the toe brakes, and down the runway we will go. I will leave that throttle alone and will not be touching it because we will be using auto throttle for 90% of our flight today. Um, it may only be at the end of it. We are, I'm toying around with the idea of attempting the autopilot, uh, or sorry, the ILS landing. Uh, we'll see how that works and when we get there. Uh, I'm not as fluid with it. I know people have said it isn't. it's buggy and it doesn't work. Uh, I've done a number of these flights or a couple of these flights so far and they've all worked out quite well. 
Uh, so I, if I can wrap my head around it while we're doing it, I'll do it. If not, then I will just do a manual uh, uh, lineup and, and touchdown and so forth. Anyways, without further ado, let's get ourselves onto the runway and begin our, our flight. Um, parking brake off. Uh, so kind of centered-ish viewed. And away we go. Taxi up. That uh, that view that I changed, mine is set up in a way that I can hit my uh, space bar to look down into the cockpit and look up out of the cockpit. I, I very much enjoy or like flying, looking, sitting up higher. Um, it's just the way I do it. So here we are coming up to the runway. It just goes up just a tad more throttle to climb up there. So I think it's a bit of a hill. Uh, you can see down here, this is our initial part of our flight that we're going to be flying as it's been programmed into the FMS. Our intended climb out altitude, 10,000. Our decision, uh, or decision uh, speed is 122. Beyond that, we are going to take off typically no matter what. We are set for a nav and for a climb. We are configured for climb one in stage of flaps and our auto speed brake is, is armed. Our taxi lights are on. It's a little silly. I had my reverse thrust on. <laughs> uh, not intentionally, but, but I did. Anyways, um, I won't edit that out because that's a part of part of simming. We make mistakes, myself included. I was wondering why it wasn't taxing the way I was anticipating it to do so. Um, that's pretty close to where I want to be lined up. I'll toe break it. So, I'm just going to verify that when I mash the throttles, the uh, seat, for some reason or other, there we go. I have it set up that uh, pulling back into the detent is supposed to put reverse on and then putting it back into the detent is supposed to put forward thrust on and it doesn't seem to work uh, as well as I as well as I would like it to so let me just turn in here and I'll show you the throttle quadrant again uh, we'll set that back to where it was and we'll zoom in so you're going to see me push the throttles just beyond CL and I'll pull back and you'll actually see it snap into place that is at the point where I'm comfortable and I know I'm in that mode. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but that's the way I do it. So here we go. Boom, the clock clicked in. My toe brakes are still fully engaged. Get myself aligned properly. Release toe brakes. And down we go. Now we're going to manage our taxi. Um, and I assume you can hear the cluck, cluck, cluck as we're taxiing out. And our speed is climbing. Speed is alive. We're 100 knots. We're going to see a little indicator there telling me a lift. Slowly back on the yoke. And out we go. A little wobbly. Uh, but not too bad. So we're climbing. I'm going to get a good positive rate of climb. You can see that that's happened. Um, gear is going up. Flaps are up. I'm going to engage autopilot. It is probably a little soon for that, but I'm going to do it anyways. And we've got our climb out set at 1800. We 
it should start to climb soon yes maybe yes nice we should begin to bank back here shortly as it is and you're seeing it's doing that bank back because it's going to follow this green line and this is my plan G you haven't seen it but there's a little notification up that pops up to tell me that I'm on profile um, you're probably hearing that annunciation uh, if you aren't I hope you are but if you're not what what it's annunciating is plan G getting to this intersection to this intersection it just passed through this intersection right now we are now on to this heading toward this point which is just up here um, these are all very very small short distances 3.2 nautical miles and so forth so we're climbing you can see it's climbing out at 215 knot um, which is odd it should not be uh, unless I overrode that and I don't remember that I ah yes I did override that. I, uh, I've, I, uh, in, in my restart of the sim and everything else to get into this one here, I forgot to set that. I'm going to do that right now because um, five, five, yes, five. Uh, performance, climb. Uh, we'll leave the climb alone. But we will go to the cruise. It is a 290. And the climb is set at two, at um, 250, and that was the default that it was set at. Um, so let's just leave that uh, as it is, and let's get out of that view, making a couple of turns and adjustments. But you're going to see that it's going to hold the 250 knot in the climb, and it's climbing and heading for 10,000 on a managed climb and acceleration and um, heading. This 1800, uh, maybe zoom just a tad bit more. So that 18, 1700, that is what my autopilot panel is set at. We are using auto throttle for the climb on navigation, and a vertical climb speed is 1800 is set right here, and that's being exercised right there. Once again, um, the A320 has, has allowed me to put a flight plan into the FMS. It has allowed me to configure the aircraft, um, taxi out with reasonable good control uh, on the taxiways and so forth. Uh, Microsoft has guided me in the right direction, even though I thought it was going wrong. Indeed, I wasn't. Um, my flight plan was initiated, and ATC and ground control and all of that adhered to the into into what I set. Um, it took me to the threshold. I put me on the runway. I have taken off and it has acted exactly as it's intended to act. Um, we are going to climb, and we're going to continue to climb for 10,000, at which point I will change, um, and I will set the climb to 21,000, and the aircraft will begin to take off and climb to 21,000 feet. We're at 9,000. At this point, I think I should do that. Yes, there we go. The um, uh, uh, barometric pressure, I think that's what this is referred to, uh, was not tuned correctly. Um, if you hit control B, it will tune itself to that particular location. Um, as accurate as it can be. I don't know if that's completely 100% accurate. And what told me to do that is I used Plan G, and I could see Plan G and the Microsoft Flight Simulator were conflicting with one another, which told me there was uh, wasn't that this pressure, this barometric pressure thing here, was not set properly. Climbing, climbing, 9600. This indicator right here, uh, zoom in on that just a bit. That indicated block right there, pulling the 10,000 down. That's the that's the set altitude set here that the managed uh, FMS is managing. We're going to get there. And when we do, we're going to see that as this thing levels off and we begin our, our climb for 21,000, our speed is going to climb because our cruise was set to 290 knot in the FMS. Uh, 
that um, purple little triangle right there is the is the intended and the yellow line is the uh, let me get over there let me get over there is the actual speed you see how it popped up to 290 because we got to our our transition altitude or because we got there now we're going to go to cruise and we're going to climb our speed up to 290 knot we're going to change our altitude to 21,000 We're going to make that climb at, uh, we're going to make that climb at 2100. We'll get the passengers rocking back a little bit. So there we are. Again, we're climbing or our, uh, our um, um, climb rate uh, set to 2100. We are climbing at 2100. We're climbing for 21,000. We're at 11,000 thus far. I'm going to take my landing lights off. And here we go. Onward and upward. Um, it will continue to, to do the flight as, it's in, as, as you would expect it to. I am going to um, mute the mic. Uh, you won't see all of the bits in between, uh, or not all of them. Some of it I will probably, you know, allow to see. And I will rejoin the flight uh, when I begin my descent, which is uh, I'm 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 going to just quickly go over that with you and how I make those decisions, uh, right, wrong, or otherwise. So. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, plan, yes. I, it comes to me now that I've been moving and talking about my flight plan, but you haven't seen it. Anyways, um, so uh, I'll walk through it. Uh, I am heading for W-E-L-I-N as indicated right there, and I'll, I'll try to close zoom in and see if we can't get you a, a closer view. Yes, there we go. Oh, coming down, coming down, coming down. There. W-E-L-I-N. Um, and we're heading for that right now. Um, we are, uh, as indicated here, 11 knots from that intersection. Our next one will be a K U. PA, which is right there, and the one next to that is so forth and so forth. So we are 11, 9, 10 miles to the next intersection, and then 16, then 5, then 10, then 25, and we land. Now, um, having said all that, I'm going to guess what we're going to do here is we're probably going to begin our descent downward and, and we may not even make our 21,000 yet before we start descending because we are our 18,000. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, six, six miles to our well in. So uh, we'll probably begin our descent at here. And maybe just slightly before that. So it's it's going to be one of those get up in the air, level off, get to cruise ish, and begin descend. Uh, that's probably what it's going to be. I will descend. Uh, my uh, elevation at my airport that I'm going to is 216 feet, um, and of course I'll be at uh, at 21,000 feet. So I will I will begin my descent, um, and hopefully be able to be at a at a at a elevation that will be reflective of summers around 35 ish thousand feet sorry 3500 feet in that 10 miles area away which is um, which is uh, um, well my last turn which is at TNT according to that my last turn um, is is 28 nautical miles. Now, I don't have a a um, 
a lineup for the runway, as previous runways I've had. I've had lineups for them. So this one takes me to uh, uh, perpendicular to the runways. So I'm going to have to, from T and T, I'm going to probably break away from the flight plan. And I'm probably going to use the autopilot to navigate myself off to the right and turn around and and use the autopilot with some visual references to get closer lined up to the runway. I I, I could fly the ILS. Um, I could do that and, and I might still. I may turn off manage mode as we talked before. I may turn that off. Uh, my Where? I don't know what happened to my autopilot uh, speed mode. I must have clicked on it by mistake and turned it off. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will try to prepare for the ILS landing. Uh, my, my, if I do that, my intentions will be to ILS landing. Let me uh, just line that up here quickly. So... I think I'll intend to ILS land on runway 23 right because I think that's what was in my flight plan if I remember correctly. I'll use the ILS frequency. And let's just see if this already has that all pre-programmed in. Um, performance. Well, I don't want to get too far behind the eight ball here, so I want to be aware, and I'm getting close to the point where I'll have to start thinking about this. Hmm. Well. Yeah. I could still make that decision over there and do that. Yeah, I will. I'll do that decision at TNT. Yeah, okay. So... Let's see if we can't make heads or tail of this um, in a page. And ground temperature, cost index, that's all in there. Um, direction, yeah. Don't blow Alice, TNT, yes, yes, yes. Direct to, no, that's right. Program, we don't use it, there we go. Well, this is calling for a flight level of, but that wouldn't make any sense. Um, flight plan. Yeah, I think what I will do is uh, I will I will do I will attempt that at TNT. Um, so at TNT. I will attempt to veer off. The runway is more or less kind of heading in, in this kind of direction. So at TNT, I will turn off the managed heading mode, leave the managed speed on and altitude on because I want to control that. I want the aircraft to more or less control that based on some input that I have. And from here at this point, I will, I will veer off this way. The ILS is rotating up kind of in this direction, but I'll veer off in this direction, and I will turn off this direction, and I will hopefully catch the glide soap and line myself up. I may still manually line, but I'll use the ILS to guide me in. That's the game plan. Uh, I like it. I think it's a great game plan. Um, and we'll see how good it is. It may or may not be a good, a good game plan.
Right. There's a slight little pause there. Um, so let's consider what our game plan here is. Um, if and it is true but if we are coming in on 2-3 right 230 uh, the reciprocal of 230 is So the reciprocal is 50. Okay. So we are, now I can see we are zipping along and we are 13 miles from that intersection right there. When I make that turn and come down this way, I'll begin my descent. Uh, I'll probably fly out this way 20 miles or so and around that area 20. 20 to 25 miles out this way um, and then in which case I will make that turn and kind of angle uh, that turn back kind of on this type of an angle back this way so that I can pick up the glide soap uh, and the feathers at uh, at a at a roughly 30 ish degree angle um, because that is the angle in which you're supposed to pick that up at. So we, seven miles out, we'll continue to tick along. Um, I'm going to probably slow it down um, because we are moving along at 290. Our airport is, is um, somewhere off over there, off in that direction. We're going to head off in that direction. We're flying at that, so right. So we're turning. Um, I suspect what we should do now is we should uh, disengage. There we go. And we're going to turn off. We're going to slow down. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So we are going to take control of the throttle. Yep. Uh, we're going to slow our speed down. Help us, it's going to follow our command. Uh, about 250. Uh, let's go 250. You see it is slowing down uh, from our 290. So now uh, we whoops we will continue our turn 
to 50. This, that was what I thought it should be. And we'll see that it is or it isn't. And we will take ourselves out of managed altitude. And uh, we'll begin our descent. We'll descend down to 10. And we're descending. Hopefully we'll hold our 250. I think I will turn that 250 down just a tad. 230 is a good speed. You can see that it's going to try to hold 230, which it, it probably can't. Well, maybe it can. It's coming down. You can't see it, but we are drifting, you know, a fair ways away, and, and, and that's good because that's what I want it to be doing. What I, what isn't happening, and that's weird, is our descent is not happening. Why is that not happening? I have, oh, well, it's not happening because I haven't set it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So as indicated before, uh, our flaps here, 230, notch one notch of flaps, right? 230, 215, 200, and so on and so on. Um, I am, that's, that's what I'm attempting to do here, is I'm attempting to get myself into flap range so that I'm able to um, start, you know, getting way ahead of the aircraft rather than behind it. Um, I think I'll put up just a little bit of speed brake. I think I'll turn my throttle down a bit. Eighteen thousand. I think we'll increase our descent and our speed brake. We're not in in exactly great perfect shape, but. Um, not horrible just yet. Um, I think I'm uh, 39 miles out. Sorry, 30, uh, 39 miles out. Uh, which means I'm, if I'm 30 miles out, 9 miles out, I gotta come back 39 miles, plus I gotta drift over to the runway itself. Uh, I could be close to 50 miles out, which in case I'm going to make my turn for the runway, which was, I decided, is 2.30. So 2.30 it is. And we will turn. I'm not going to turn exactly to 230. I'm going to try to stay off that ever so slightly because I, what I really want to do is I want to intersect the feathers some 20 miles out or so so that I can turn and see the runway, be aligned with the autopilot configured, ready to go for that ILS approach. If I find it is not working out for me, I have time to recover that, uh, which I would. I'm aiming for 4,000 at this point. Still making my descent. I'm hoping to scrub off some speed here shortly.
There we go. I am experiencing a couple of bugs. Um, I don't know that it's so much the aircraft as much as it is my autopilot panel. It seems to be kicking out from time to time. As I'm turning the dials, it seems to be doing that. So I just want people to be aware that that's happening. I've got myself turned on a slight angle, and I wish I could show that to you. Um, but I can't, or can I? No, I don't want to do that, because I may bugger it up. Uh, so I certainly don't want to do that. But uh, you can see that the runway is here, and it is coming out kind of on this trajectory. So you can see that that's kind of where I'm going to be intersecting it. Um, and the hope is that I will be intersecting it um, some 10 miles outside of the feathers or so. So approximately 20 miles out. Um, it's not an exact science to that, but that's the hope. Uh, there's my auto approach. There's my navigation. So um, the hope is that I'm able to hit nav and it's supposedly going to take over and, and use nav. I, I, I just don't know if it's going to do that. Um, ordinarily what you would do is you would, you would have your heading held on, uh, which is, um, here on. Nope. Don't want that done because it wants to go somewhere else. And I don't want it to do that. Um, yeah. I think I'll, uh, I'll find myself doing this manually um, because I, I, I don't have a great deal of confidence. Uh, 10,000 feet out, um, and we're still descending. I have my altitude set to descend to um, 3,900. You can see which is right there. My speed is mostly in line with what I want it to be. I just bumped that up just a tad. Thirty nine miles out at uh, 9,000 feet. Landing lights need to be on. Uh, apparently they were on and I forgot to turn them off. Nope, they weren't. Now they're on. And we're descending. I think we're going to be in good shape. Um, take myself out just a bit more. Because we're not doing an ILS landing, I think I may, uh, I may uh, give me a bit of a break and you, the viewer, uh, a better view of, of what I'm doing and my approach and all of that by removing of the clouds. Off in that direction over there is the, is the airport. Uh, let's have a look at the cockpit. I've uh, done some buggering around here. I want to make sure I'm in good shape. I looks like I am. Um, yeah, I'm in good shape. Heading to seven zero. Um, I'm going to be turning shortly. Because you can see my flaps are, or my speed brakes are out. I'm guessing where that guy over there is is probably where I'm going.
So we're looking pretty good. Um, we're at 6,000 feet. I think we're in, in, in more than good shape. I may, uh, I may back off my descent rate a little bit, set my, my uh, altitude to 3,000. And we are now going to start getting ready for setup. Um, what I'm doing, actually, and you're not seeing it, but I'm kind of pulling my chair up. I'm kind of getting myself positioned, ready to go. I know I've got uh, 20 miles before the airport. And my dream of ex, uh, um, intersecting the airport uh, in the ILS is, is, is coming to fruition. Um, don't like that. But we'll let it turn a bit. Now I'm 10 miles out, sorry, I'm about 15 miles out, and the airport is off in this direction here. I'm probably going to take control, manual control of the air, aircraft shortly. I prefer to do it once I, I can see the runway, which I think I can, which is right there. Although I could be wrong about that because it seems like it's the wrong angle. Um, it should be more over here from what I'm seeing and that, not that, but we'll get, we'll fly a little further. These anomalies apparently uh, Microsoft and Asobo are, are busily trying to get corrected. According to what I'm doing now, it, it appears that I'm more or less flying almost runway heading. Um, ah, 15 miles, I don't need to do that just yet. I think I'll turn just a tad bit more. Um, and it should start more or less putting me in line. And I think I will remove auto throttle. Um, and I'll be in control of the throttle myself. That, those are the runways. So, perfect. Uh, flaps down. I'll pile it off. I've got control. Let me get my little dot out of the way. Another stage of flap. Sorry, guess I shouldn't have done that. Going a little too quick. So, we're going to slow her down a bit my hope is that I'm going to come in somewhere around that 140 uh, that's my game plan that's the that's the plan that I hope to accomplish uh, but I will need to start climbing down just a tad uh, I'm still in good shape here I'm going to start to give myself a little bit of trim down and turn myself over just a bit and uh, gear down, speed brake up and locked and set, heading off, altitude off, start descending.
And you see the speed is starting to climb a little, and that's because I kind of got after it a little late. Um, but I still think I'll be fine. I could put out a little bit of speed brake just to help with it. Yeah, I'm 2,500 and I'm five miles out, which is is probably a little behind it. Um, it would be nicer if I wasn't so far behind it, but I am. Um, so give ourselves another stage of flap. And another stage, and I'm going to start to pitch the nose up a bit. Uh, keep in mind the A320 does not act like a general aviation aircraft. I still think we're going to be fine. May not be the most perfect landing in the world, but I still think we'll be fine. Too white, too red. Uh, I'm trying to get that. There we go. And we're going to let that speed bleed off. Getting a little high. Too low terrain. Why we got too low, too low terrain, terrain, I don't know. It's beyond me. The lights tell me I'm in good shape. <laughs> yeah, it's terrain. a little weird. Too low terrain. But I think we're in good. Too low terrain. 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 So here we are. Too low terrain. Twenty. Ten. Well, there's the problem with this type of aviation. Um, we get somebody come ripping into us, but that's okay. Um, otherwise, the landing was, was quite well. I, I'm quite happy about how the landing went. We'll clean up a little bit here. We'll, we'll get our taxi lights, our, our um, sorry, um, landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Um, we will get ourselves taxi to a gate, maybe. Um, I think I'll just stop myself here. See if I can get ATC to cooperate with me. Ground services. Uh, Manchester ground. Uh, no, I don't want to request pushback. I'm not sure. Want, I want to request taxi to gate. Um, acknowledge. And we have a gate to go to. So let's go to it. Our video has gotten a little long, but um, I will keep this in its entirety. I think I may cut a little bit out and kind of piece it together a little bit just to shorten up the video a bit. Uh, we are 49 minutes basically right now. Um, so as I'm taxiing here over to the gate, I'm, I'll talk about a little bit about the approach, uh, some of the things that I experienced throughout. Uh, one, uh, it is not the fault of the simulator as to why I couldn't get the ILS to function to work. It is the fault of the user. I just don't know how to do it. Um, I thought I would wing it and winging it obviously wasn't just, just good, such a good idea. So I won't do that again. Uh, I'll probably do another flight attempting to understand it after watching some other YouTubes so I can uh, get a better understanding of how it works. Um, the uh, I was behind 
the approach most of the way. Um, but my theory of intersecting the, the uh, runway at some 15 or 20 miles before uh, I made that turn uh, is what probably saved the, the, the landing. Without that, I probably would have crashed and burned, more or less. Um, it's done that again to me. Um, so, because I, I, I had that 15 miles or so before the threshold, uh, I was able to get in control of the aircraft again in, in, a, in a reasonable amount of time. And keep in mind, as I said at the beginning of the other video, um, because I, I, I got myself to a 3,500, uh, 4,000 altitude, I got myself to the reasonable um, speed of 220 in that area. Uh, when I, even when I did have to pitch down a little bit because I was a little too high, uh, I was still fine. Uh, in, in doing that because I was slow enough that even if I gained you know 15 or 20 knots uh, I could still recover from that and you saw me coming in I think watching the video I'll watch it again but I think I was coming in some is around 140 um, again I think some people might think that's a little too slow uh, but for me it works and it works quite well so um, second uh, flight with A320 uh, using FMS uh, and in conjunction with autopilot in conjunction with uh, manual flight I uh, wasn't having to do any weird and unusual things uh, aircraft uh, uh, performed as expected um, everything did as I would have expected it to do uh, maybe a good idea a good time to request a uh, um, subscribe and like maybe that's uh, not at the right timing I just thought of it um, so I would appreciate the subscribe and like if you like this type of content uh, please do so if not that's fine uh, if I can do things differently if you have questions comment section is for just that it's weird that there there we go um, so yeah comment uh, subscribe like all those wonderful things hit the notification bell if you choose uh, you will see more content coming from me um, as I said before I have a full-time job so I will not be a content creator that creates every day uh, I just don't have the I don't have the time nor do I have the ideas to create enough at this point maybe that will change here we are um, in a lot of in the previous fight I indicated that at this point people would be setting up the APV uh, the co-pilot would be starting up the APU and all that good stuff. All that stuff would be happening. Um, uh, this video was not necessarily for that. This video was to show, again, how well or the the thing works and does what it's supposed to do. Um, and and I think it I think it performed quite flawlessly. Um, yeah, I, I think it it performed exactly as it was supposed to. Every aspect of the aircraft did. Those that didn't, like I said, uh, didn't because I, I just don't know how they work. So, Stream Gamers, in conjunction with Flyby Wires, um, um, come visit us, flybywires, flybywires.net, if you're interested. Uh, make some comments if you like me to do something specific. I certainly will do it. If I don't know how, I'll learn it, uh, and then I'll release it. So have yourselves a wonderful evening, day, and rest of your week, wherever you may be in the world watching this. Um, be happy, be friendly, be kind. Um, smile. Life is grand, even though all of the stuff we're having to deal with, um, life is still grand. Again, Stream Gamers, my name is Raymond. Um, you guys enjoy, and uh, be happy. Bye-bye.